welcome to the project demonstration of automatic path hole detection and hum detection using ir sensor and ultrasonic sensor and also we are going to intimate the same to the uh, authorities about this path hole and hum detection along with location with sms alerts so to get the locations we are going to making use of this gps module and to send the message alerts we are going to making use of this gsm module and one more feature is like it will capture the respect to location images with the help of this camera, recordable camera and store that images inside the memory card. So we have placed a 4 GB memory card in this camera. So it will capture the image and store that inside that. So the whole system driven by the 12 volt 1 amp battery. So this battery pack consists of 3, 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp. And in order to control this vehicle movement, so we are going to use this electromagnetic relay. So controller will trigger the relay to move the vehicle. So when the vehicle start moving, then the system will start reading the input from these sensors like ultrasonic sensor SR04 and IR sensor to hum detection and SR04 ultrasonic sensor to detect the path holes. So based on these two detections, it will send the message alerts. So for controlling the total system input outputs, we are going to making use of this pic 16 f 877 a microcontroller. So this is the whole motherboard which interface between the input and output modules. So the interfacing connections are SR04 interfaced at E1 and E2 pins and IR sensor interfaced at C0 pin and GSM modem at C6, C7 and GPS module at uh, directly D7th pin. So these are the interfacing connections. So we forgot about the LCD module also. So we have interfaced the LCD module at B2 to B7. So the main purpose of this uh, 16 by 2 LCD module is to display the status like latitude, longitude values as well as uh, distance from this SR04. This will be continuously displayed. So whenever the abnormality detected, then the so-called abnormality alert message displayed on the LCD screen. So let me explain you the battery charging section. So this is the main on off switch. So in order to charge a battery, we need to connect the B to the B here. Okay. And T to the T transformer and we have made connections. And then after you can provide the 230 volts input to the system. So once we switch on this power supply, then there is a light indication on this charger. So it's showing like the battery is charging. So if you use the kit or not, you should charge this at least for uh, once in uh, 10 days and then after uh, the time is going to be minimum of 8 maximum 10 hours so this is the charging time for this battery and uh, once the battery is fully charged let us demonstrate the project so before that you should ins uh, insert a valid sim card into the gsm modem so the sim card slot should be in this manner so there is a card here so same in this manner only insert the sim card and press to lock and press to unlock also right so it's locked so it should be airtel or vi other than geo it should have the sms balance or main balance same and then after remember the next step there is a switch this is the reset switch to restart the microcontroller and this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which will provide the clock pulse to the microcontroller so hold this reset switch, hold it and switch on the power supply, this is the on off switch, on. Hold this reset switch till the GSM will get the signal, now it's blinking fast. Right, now it is slows down. So that indication as the SIM card got the signal. So then only release the switch. So then after initialization from the microcontroller, then the vehicle moves starting. So it stops and when whenever the obstacle detects, it stops and bumps detects, stops and send the message and it stop moving. And coming to the bumps also, whenever the bumps is detected, it stops and the so called LCD message displayed, path hole detected. So the SMS will be received into the register of phone number. What's the message? So these are the messages which we have received till now continuously hump and path hole messages. So as of now we are demonstrating this project under the roof means there is no satellite vision to the 
GPS module so that it will not provide us the exact location values and once we place the kit under the sky view then it will get the satellite vision so as we know that GPS will work under the trial iteration method whenever the three satellites provide the signal to the GPS module then based on that confirmation from the three satellites then only it will give us the exact PVT that is position velocity time so in that we are going to capture the position in terms of latitude and longitude values.